When the feds raided Puffy's houses, they found tapes with evidence of Chris Jenner being part of some criminal activities. One of the key linchpins is Corey Gamble. Corey Gamble, the uh, boyfriend of pimp mama Chris Jenner. 24 hours before the raid, Kim Kardashian decides to unfollow Diddy, right? Well, it's open season on Diddy these days. However, it seems like before Diddy sees the inside of a jail cell, he's going to drag down others with himself. And the Kardashians happen to be on the top of the list. According to the rumor mill, these two have been working together in the shadows for years. Heck, there are speculations about Kim Kardashian even attending Diddy's infamous parties. To make it worse, it looks like Kanye West might spill the deets before the authorities have the chance to uncover the evidence themselves. Just what card does West have up his sleeve? And is Kim really a Diddy VIP? freak off worker let's find out you think about if harley was part of intelligence right what kind of people you think are surrounding my kids what kind of people you think are in that house diddy's been having a hard year he comes out of the freeing pan only to end up in the fire still no one was expecting homeland security to kick down his door on march 25th 2024 authorities paid the record executive a special visit they raided his multi-million dollar mansions in miami and los angeles and apparently they hit the jackpot according to reports the feds were able to find firearms multiply electronics and hours of footage it was like the climax of a thriller in the midst of the chaos that ensued a particular someone thought they could sneak right past us. But honey, nothing escapes internet detectives. Apparently, a day before the raid on Diddy's house, Kim unfollowed Diddy on Instagram. And why is that suspicious? Well, Kim had a lot of opportunities to unfollow the record executive. You know when Cassie filed her lawsuit? Yeah, that would have been a good time to distance herself from Diddy. But the fact that she chose to do this now and that too, a day before Diddy's house was raided smells all kinds of fishy to fans. It's almost like Kim knew about the raid beforehand. She may be a lawyer, but let's be real, her connections can't be that strong. And there's also another thing. The fact that Kim unfollowed Diddy seems to suggest that she was trying to erase any evidence of a relationship between the two. Now, why would she try to do that? Well, the running theory is that Kim has the same skeletons in her closet as Diddy. In fact, she's been rumored to be a frequent Diddy party goer. And if those secrets are revealed, it's going to be lights out for the Kardashians. The video starts by discussing a significant federal raid on Sean Diddy Combs properties where the authorities uncovered a range of incriminating materials. The timing of the raid was particularly notable as it occurred shortly after Kim Kardashian unfollowed Diddy on Instagram, a move that happened just 24 hours before the authorities conducted their search. This seemingly coincidental action raised eyebrows and led to widespread speculation about whether Kim had prior knowledge of the impending raid. Observers and fans alike began to wonder if her decision to unfollow Diddy was a strategic attempt to distance herself from him and any potential fallout from his alleged illegal activities. This move fueled rumors and discussions about the nature of the relationship and whether Kim was trying to protect her reputation amid the growing scandal surrounding Diddy. I did not realize how shady Corey Gamble is. I was wondering where he came from, where he came. But now looking at it, I didn't know that he was like besties with Jay-Z and Diddy. I, I didn't know that he was like a talent manager or he helped Scooter Braun, but like, I always like wondered like if they were in a real relationship and now I'm like, okay, what is it that you do? What is this business relationship? What is going on here? In this segment, the speaker expresses surprise at Corey Gamble's connections and background. They admit they were unaware of his close relationship with the high-profile figures like Jay-Z and Diddy, and his role as a talent manager who assisted Scooter Braun. The speaker reflects on their previous doubts about the authenticity of Gamble's relationship and questions his business dealings and the nature of his connections, indicating a newfound skepticism about his involvement in the entertainment industry. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I know some of you don't want to hear this, but according to the Bible, you and I are no better than Diddy. And so God gave me a word for him. Again, you can go look at it on YouTube. But let this be a moment. Some of you guys are quick to want to throw him in hell and things like that. Do you really have the mind of Christ? And do you really understand the gospel? A lot of times we look at other people, we look at their sins, we look at their flaws, uh, we look at where they mess up, we want to write them off. Man, I want that person to burn in hell. They deserve this. What do you deserve? If we hooked up your mind and uploaded all of your thoughts to Instagram, 
all the filth that is in your mind, all the thoughts that you thought that are so embarrassing. Remember, Jesus, he told them, hey, if you look at a woman and lust after her, it's the same as if you committed adultery. If we started looking in your mind, there's so much stuff that you need grace for. And then there's stuff in my life, in your life, that nobody really knows about, but maybe God, that you needed grace for. Something to think about. Go to YouTube and, uh, you know, let's pray for this man. And let's pray for all the people that were affected by his behavior. In this segment, the speaker acknowledges that their behavior in a video is indefensible and offers no excuses. They reference the Bible, emphasizing that everyone is equally flawed and no better than Diddy. The speaker challenges listeners to consider whether they truly understand the gospel and possess the mind of Christ. They caution against quick judgment and condemnation of others, highlighting the need for grace and self-reflection. The speaker invites the audience to think about their own sins and flaws, urging them to recognize their need for grace just as others do. They conclude by encouraging viewers to pray for Diddy and those affected by his actions, promoting a message of compassion and understanding. Everyone can see how Diddy has been running from pillar to post to save face from the unending cycle of insane dark secrets getting exposed and the humiliation he's getting from it. Aside from Diddy facing the consequences of his actions in terms of the public's perception, he's also already on the wrong side of the law. Diddy might be getting his mug shot soon with the evidence gathered from his house raids. So yeah, it's pretty messed up for Diddy right now. And there's also his dear friend Jay-Z, who is already getting put in the mix of facing his own legal troubles with the feds. It's a no-brainer. Kanye would have also been caught in the crossfire if he had not dipped on their friendship and continued to live the type of lives they were living. The man knew what he was doing, but the public thought he was overacting when he cut ties with the Carters and Combs family. However, it would be normal for Kanye to find Kim's attendance at Diddy's party offensive while they were married. Kim wasn't even attending those parties with Kanye. She was going there on her own to roll with the bigger dogs in the industry. Just as Kanye must have thought, it meant her husband's influence wasn't enough, and she was trying to gather a better type of influence for her brand. Kanye wasn't only pissed about Kim attending the parties with him, but there's the part that Kanye was the one consistently getting bashed for being the bad guy in their marriage and allowing it to break. Kim painted Kanye in a terrible light to the media, as if he were a crazy type of husband. Mark these words. It will happen someday. Okay. And I had this thing. I had this, like, you know, of course I'm, uh, I'm divorced and this is like a, a funny thing I thought. Being that her name is no longer West. Yeah, Kanye might be on to some spiritual kind of speech and rant sometimes, but there are mostly truths in anything Kanye is trying to say. Kim was attending them parties of Diddy whole time dealing with household chores. Kanye pulled out his friendship with Diddy. Everyone knows how Diddy is escaping from his dark, unhide fetishes, but getting exposed. Jay-Z is also facing trouble with Kanye pissed because of Kim's attending those parties. But still, he didn't want to be the bad guy in the marriage. And this truth is gonna be heard. I can't send none of y'all meat mails, y'all puppies, y'all little boozy, none of these things, none of these people that have to listen to y'all because they're dealing with, they have legal, I never nobody, right? I'm the pussy that never nobody, right? But that means I can say whatever I want and not go to jail. The speaker asserts their truth will be heard claiming that none of the people associated with their critics, such as Meek Mills, Puff Daddy, or Lil Boosie, can silence them. They highlight that these individuals are obligated to listen to their critics due to legal issues they are facing. The speaker emphasizes their own freedom, noting that they have never been involved with anything illegal, which allows them to speak freely without fear of going to jail. A day later, Kanye launched a dedicated website, Invalid URL Removed. A single grainy video, titled The Receipts, played on a continuous loop. It was a cell phone recording, shaky and dark, but the figures were unmistakable. A young Kim Kardashian, barely recognizable with blonde streaks in her hair, flitting around a lavish mansion, a nervous smile plastered on her face. Then, a booming laugh, Diddy, surrounded by scantily clad women, beckoned Kim closer. Kanye West shocked the internet with a tweet hinting at revelations, followed by launching a website featuring a grainy video of a young Kim Kardashian at a party with Diddy. The footage ignited a media frenzy, suggesting Kim use these associations to gain fame. Kanye claimed the video came from a lost phone of a former associate of Diddy's. The Kardashian matriarch, Kris Jenner, reacted swiftly with legal threats while Kim retreated from social media. As former reality TV stars supported Kanye's narrative, sponsors distanced themselves threatening Kim's empire. Amidst this, 
Kim's daughter, North, showed support with a heartfelt note. Celebrities criticized Kanye's actions, arguing Kim's past shouldn't define her. After weeks of silence, Kim addressed the public, admitting to the video's authenticity, but providing context, and embarked on an apology tour, speaking candidly about her past and advocating for self-worth. Gradually, public opinion began to shift in her favor. At 47, her mind blown, okay? She always thought it, but never really thought it. And that's the Neptune in her chart. I can verbalize this to you, that someone is going to do this to me, or this is going to happen to me, but it doesn't really register inside of me that this is really going to happen to me. That's how I feel she felt. Like, like holy crap, like, blown, mind blown. Almost like an accident, when you get into an accident and you pop out of your body, that's shocking enough. This is even more shocking for her because it's like actually happened. The other thing that now I'm developing an eye twitch again, every time I try to tell a story, my eye starts to go like this. So I have to assume something happened with the left side of her face and with her eye and what's behind her eye because my eye keeps doing it when I'm talking about her. And all day yesterday I tried to film this and then my eye kept twitching and it's still twitching. So I feel with her that there was something like that. I also know that one of her best girlfriends, she has several, maybe three. One of her best girlfriends, she worries because that best girlfriend tells her husband everything, 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 like everything. Like, so you know those women that are married to men and they go home and they're like, yeah, so-and-so did this. And you're thinking, I didn't tell you for you to go home and tell that guy you're married to all the shit I just told you like this is supposed to be our thing right and Kim is afraid that that information will get out kind of sideways Kim Kardashian's experienced a shocking revelation about her life feeling disoriented and developing physical stress symptoms like eye twitch she was worried about personal information leaking through a close friend who shares everything with her husband who remains friends with Diddy Significant events were hinted to unfold in November of 2023, and she suggested a toxic metal exposure incident via nasal spray was hidden on a second undiscovered phone. Kim expressed gratitude towards the eldest son for their strong bond, but was concerned her daughter only saw a limited, misunderstood view of her life.